we got Colorado as a two and a half point favorite. They are going to play Kansas. Um, mm. And this one is real intriguing. Like people are probably looking at Kansas record and the way that they played earlier in the year, they're looking at Colorado and the way that they have come onto the scene. They're saying two and a half points. Or is, is this right? like a, a crazy line here? Let's be perfectly clear. This is a Kansas team that's playing some different football right now. Jalen Daniels, he's back healthy. He looks I healthy like, right now. I, um, I, I think they're also like, hey, we could make a bowl game. Like we could really salvage this season. Um, they're, they're playing much better than they did at the beginning of the year. And as I have mentioned, Colorado is a much better team than what we watched last year. I still think that they have some pretty glaring flaws that can be exploited. Um, the, the the biggest question is, can you knock off the confidence of the Buffs because they're playing really confident football? Yeah, I, I love this game. I think it's so interesting. It's also being played at Arrowhead because Kansas had uh, is playing a few games yes. there as they're doing stadium renovations. So that adds like another kind of different element to it. Um, but the Kansas team that we've seen the last two weeks that have drastically impacted the Big 12 race because they're knocking teams off that were in the mix for it, uh, that's the Kansas team we thought we were going to see. Like That's the team that we expect under Lance Leipold. Jalen Daniels was the preseason player of the year in this conference. I mean, it was kind of a pick em at the start of the season with like six different teams you can make a case to win it all, but Kansas was one of them. Um, so I think it's just great that they have rounded into form at the right time, and it's making this such a massive game. This and Arizona State BYU are monster, monster games in the Big 12. Colorado has control of its own destiny. It can play its way into the Big 12 championship game and a potential auto bid to the playoff, which is wild in just year two for Deion Sanders. I think that this is going to be a close game, a really interesting one. And I think that it's going to potentially come down to Kansas's offense. Uh, yeah. Because we have seen that come alive in the last couple of weeks. But they're still not great at explosive plays. And I think that's where you can take advantage of the Colorado defense the most. Agreed. So I think that this ends up favoring, like, you know, Colorado, quick strikes, Travis Hunter, trying to continue to build his case for the Heisman. Like, I really like what Colorado can do, and I just don't know without the explosive ability for Kansas if they'll be able to ultimately do enough that they need to. So I've got Colorado and covering because it is only two and a half points. No notes. I, I agree with everything you just said there. I, I think that would be the, the biggest thing Kansas could do was try to get the football down the field in chunks. Colorado's defense is gettable that way. Is Kansas's offense built to do that? Is the big Not question really here. So I'm, I'm rolling. I'm rolling with the Buffs. I'm definitely rolling with them. All right. So I believe underdog. Do you, that's like that was like a it's like a two and a half point spread against Kansas that's not bowl eligible right now. So it's like uh, I, uh, I sort of believe. I sort of believe. I sort of believe. I I believe. Okay, you believe. We both believe in the Buffs this week. One step closer to the Big Twelve Championship game.